Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. You want the latest news in the streets? Join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Hey, tea sippers. Happy Monday. So I am back with some more content. So a lot of people have been asking me to talk about the whole situation concerning Ice Spice. And her former best friend, uh, this girl, her name is Baby Storm. She is basically a TikToker slash rapper. And um, she's making a lot of allegations against Ice Spice. So it's a lot to unpack here, okay? So let me start there. All of this started last month, okay? But everything went to a head this past weekend while Drake and Kendrick were beefing. There was all this stuff brewing with Ice Spice and Baby Storm. And so what I want to do is take y'all back. What we do here is go back, 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 back. And okay, we're going to go back in time to last month where all of this drama started with them, Nicki Minaj and everything else, okay? So last month around April 7th, uh, there's a TikToker. His name is Raymonte. And I've never heard of him before this, but I know a lot of people were sending me this story back then because I guess he started some type of content house and he had a bunch of you know, other TikTokers. And so people were saying, well, why isn't this sponsored? You should be sponsored. And he was basically saying that he can't get sponsorships in him as ghetto. And he was saying that that's unfair because, you know, Cardi B's ghetto, quote unquote, and she gets all this stuff, you know, um, endorsement deals. So why is it okay for Cardi, but not other people? And he was saying that Cardi gets it because she's Dominican and light skinned. So there was this huge back and forth on social media um, so much so that, you know, Cardi B had also caught out Ice Spice as her, you know, being Dominican as well. And then Cardi told Ice Spice, like, yeah, go ahead and post that picture of us, you know, that we took recently. And so Ice Spice was basically forced to post the picture and Nicki Minaj definitely felt the way. So I want you guys to go ahead and watch this short breakdown really quick. And I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. Just a few days ago, when Cardi got into it with the famous TikToker Ray Monte. Ray Monte was going off on his fans because he didn't like that people had always addressed him as a ghetto person just because he's loud. While he was ranting, he decided to use Cardi as an example, and he said that non black people like Cardi B are rewarded and given brand deals despite the fact that they are ghetto. But when a black person like him acts the same way, they get the opposite treatment. So I wasn't going to talk about this anymore because it was like, y'all know I don't like to drag things out, but the videos y'all keep saying, I'm ghetto and da 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 and it throws me off because none of my videos am I walking up people selling them empty, they purse, give me everything you got. I don't think I'm as ghetto as everyone tries to make it seem, and what bothers me as a black person, you guys say that I'm ghetto, but Cardi B, who doesn't look like a visible black woman to me, and this is no shade to you, Cardi B, this is no shade, this is just literally a fact, and we're speaking on colorism and all those type of things. She is very, very ghetto. She's way ghettoer than me. She's way harder gangster greasy with me she was outside with the damn bloods and y'all don't say that this lady is ghetto y'all don't say that she is a marketable it feels like everyone can be ghetto and and black besides ghetto and black people and again no shade to you cardi b i'm just doing a comparison my content has always been uplifting women i've always said so many things about women like to encourage them and be amazing and, and i might make a little joke about a relationship or a boy or something like that and i might say that'll make me a gangster thug psycho man i literally don't get that i have so much positive content that i don't even say a cuss word in that is so uplifting with so many people so many diverse groups ethnicities so what do y'all want to put me in this ghetto sad black trope for i am from the hood yes i am but i have layers to me i am i can have a deep articulate conversation with you stop criticizing me Another thing, I have always been an advocate for higher education. I have always sent people in college money for food. I tell people to stay in school. Get your degree. I talk to people with their 9 to 5 and say how people with 9 to 5 push the world. I talk about um body positivity, all this type of things. So what do y'all be wanting to make All I say is shake your ass, shake your ass, turn on the damn cheap teeth. Because I don't.
one of Cardi's very messy fans decided to drag the video over to Twitter and that's when Cardi saw it and responded. She said she's really surprised Raymonte is even using her as an example in this conversation because she was called ghetto too when she first started out in the industry. She said, it's crazy because when I became famous, people said I'm ghetto, talked ish about my accent, called me dumb because the way I speak, said I got no couth, talked about my teeth, my braids, my two buns, and to this day, no matter what I accomplish, I still get called a s all because I'm from the ghetto. People misinterpret me because apparently I'm loud and ghetto to this day. Call me a hood rat and all. When I sat down with Bernie Sanders and Joe Biden, they called me a ghetto s why is it that y'all gotta use me to make y'all comparisons cause y'all only see the glory but not when I get dragged 24-7? Leave me alone and out y'all BS. But Raymonte was not letting up and he clapped back at Cardi B and told her she would never have the things she has now if she was a fully black woman who acts the way she does. Girl, why are you getting so mad at the comparison? I'm saying you are successful and reached heights that visibly black ghetto people have a harder time reaching. You've had major campaigns that ghetto black women and men like me will never get. It's deeper conversation. I'm not trying to offend you at all. To not think you have it easier to be seen as marketable because your lighter is crazy. Card. Oh, wow. And she's trying to throw ice under the bus as well. Ice Spice was not here for Cardi bringing her up and she decided to check Cardi real quick by responding to Cardi's tweet. She said said, no offense, Barty, it's because I have a Dominican parent and a black one. Baby, I don't think nobody was expecting shade like that. See, but this is where the real messiness started because Cardi responded back to Ice claiming that she was only trying to make people aware that just because she speaks Spanish doesn't make her Mexican. But toward the end of the tweet, she decided to remind Ice Spice of the photo that they took together at the Vanity Fair event by telling her to send the photos to her. She said, I think there might be some confusion on what I said. I asked why she feels so comfortable calling me Mexican. I have no Mexican parents. My mom is from Trinidad. She came out of a whole black woman. My father is Dominican. I'm Dominican just like you. I also used other Dominicans as an example because as you know, a lot of times we get clustered into one because of the language. Also, can you send me that pic you you took of me with a camera from Vanity Fair? Thank you. Chill, Cardi B is messy as hell. She clearly saw Ice Spice trying to be slick and tried to distance herself from her, so she tried to throw that last sentence in just to make everybody know she and Ice Spice had linked up. Now Ice responded by posting the photos that she took with Cardi and within minutes of her posting it, Nicki fans rushed into the comments and started dragging Ice for filth. They accused her of betraying Nicki and linking up with the op. All right, so you guys just saw that breakdown. Um, so what ended up happening, like I said, is Ice Spice posted this picture and she wrote, Dilo Mijo with a kissy face and a Dominican flag, basically showing her and Cardi B. So like I said, once Nicki Minaj saw that, she was not feeling it. So then that started making rounds around, you know, Barb, Twitter and stuff like that. So around April 15th, Nikki took to social media. A clip of her from Station had started going viral. And Nikki was basically calling Ice Spice a user. She didn't say her name, but it was very interesting that after that picture came out of Ice Spice and Cardi B, Nikki started subbing Ice Spice. So I want you guys to go ahead and listen to this audio. Here at Gag City, we only fuck with the best. Now, one thing about users is that they don't stop being users. They stop using that person and they go on to another and another. And when they find themselves one day in that um, quicksand, I would best believe they'll look like an ugly mess, first of all. They're rather strange, actually. Um, you see, blood suckers die after sucking all that blood. Or oh, someone just chops their head right clean off. 
But users, um, they don't necessarily ever stop being a user. They were born a user, they'll die a user. The only thing that changes is who they use. All right, so you guys just heard that audio. So then about a week later, all of a sudden, uh, this baby storm girl came out the blue and basically stated that she's ready to expose her former best friend. She posted this. She says the next person to be exposed will be my ex-best friend, Isis, or as y'all know her, Ice Spice. So all this went down when I was in Atlanta. Um, and I just, I wasn't feeling it, but, um, you know, this was on April 27th. And so I'm just going to read some of this. She, goodness, she wrote a lot and I'm not going to go into all of that. Y'all can go to her page and read it. She says, because unfortunately I thought she was a real friend. I've known her since we were 13. We went to the same grade school and high school, Sacred Heart in Yonkers, New York. We met in eighth grade. She was my high school bully. I forgave her after high school because she apologized for bullying me. She only tried to rekindle with me when I started doing music and got some motion. She used my connections and resources to make her way to the top and pretended to be my friend. She forced everyone in her life to sign an NDA, including me. But the only person I'm signed to is God, so I will speak my truth. Then she says, Isis did everything in her power to make sure my career would never take off. She did everything you could possibly think of and more. I'm not afraid of her anymore. This is the truth. Then she starts posting screenshots of their conversation. Um, but most importantly, she ends up posting about um, Riot and Ice Spice's relationship. And I've said this before. If you have common sense, Riot USA is clearly her boyfriend. He's attached at the hip with Ice Spice. They're basically pulling a Nicki Minaj and Safari. For years, people thought Nicki was single. And I was telling y'all way back then, Safari is her man. He's not just the purse holder. He's not just her backup dancer. That is her man. And that's the same thing with Riot, okay? Um, so she accuses Ice Spice of being a colorist. And then she basically also DMs Riot USA and tells him this. Isis cheated on you with Lil TJ in 2022 and lied to your face about it. Then she had the audacity to sing it on Gangsta Blue, the song that you produced. Ask her about it. She was in love with him for almost a year. I'm sorry. It happened the night she slept in TJ's bed while you were in the house. So I thought that was pretty trashy that she DM'd that to Riot. So, you know, a lot of people started lighting her up. Um, somebody even wrote, hey, at FBI, I want to report a famous social media creator called Baby Storm, who is threatening the life of former President Donald Trump and encouraging poor blacks to kill the president at Secret Service. And this is her video right here. Donald Trump is going to be assassinated this year before the upcoming 2024 election. His death is what is ultimately going to cause a civil war in the United States. So then after getting drug on social media for being messy, um, she ended up this weekend wanting to blast her even more. So this weekend she took to social media and she says, good morning, Barb's, as promised. This is how Isis really feels about your evil queen at Nicki Minaj. Ungrateful and delusional, just like y'all enjoy. So in these text messages, they say this. Isis a second phone. How the call end yesterday on a good note. Open ended again. But then James called me with Nikki's old manager of 11 years. He said she was being unfair and asking for too much which is what everyone's been telling me, but it's hard to negotiate with her because she doesn't let people talk like lawyers or James, etc. Then she says, just woke up. That's so annoying, bro. Does she not realize that she's asking for too much? Spice says, no, she doesn't think so at all. So frustrating. Do you think you guys will be able to come to a compromise? Spice says, hopefully, but we're about to put out another record in June for the Barbie soundtrack which is an opportunity I brought her. Because Barbie asked me to do it alone, but since that's her brand, I invited her on. She doesn't even see that as me bringing her something. She's kind of like my mom, ungrateful and delusional. I cut her off, by the way, not speaking to her till January. Then she says, oh my God, how does she not realize that? It's not like they initially asked her to do it. 
That's the thing people always say about her. She always thinks she's doing you a favor. Then she says, did she do more or did you feel like that's the best? Then I says, no, it's that plus she wants publishing from all my songs, including third party writing competitions. So anything I write for other people or any song I get on, mind you, I had a Taylor Swift collab before I had the Nicki one. Then Baby Storm says, is the Taylor collab coming out? Yes, I know. I mean, did your mom do more annoying shit or did you just feel like a break was necessary? Also, bro, now that I'm thinking about it, what you're saying makes a lot of sense. I think we're forgetting that when Nicki was coming up, the deals people were getting at the time in the early 2000s weren't artist friendly at all, literally not until recently. So to us, she's asking for too much, but because she's probably used to seeing labels take more, she feels like it's more than fair. It's not right, but she's much older, which is why she feels that way. Not right though. Then Ice Spice says, and basically what she's saying is because she keeps saying, oh, when Wayne was signing me, I didn't question, blah, blah, blah. But me and her are in two different spaces in our career when that happened. Like I'm already signed, so why would I work backwards? Now nah, it's just necessary. Like she gaslights me too much. I got to love her from a distance from my mental health. Then Baby Storm says, this is the best way I can describe it. Nikki is like those people who believe that kids today shouldn't get student loan forgiveness because they had to pay for it way back when. Damn, they are going in on these millennials, honey. Gen Z, all the shade. Uh, then Ice Spice says, but mind you, we wanted to pay Nikki, if that makes sense. Her artist fee. Yes, 100%. I think she's jealous that I own all my own masters. Because she says, James, you think you the man? I think you so cool in the interview. I don't know why she mentioned that. And then she says, what? Then Ice Spice says, and James, the one that said I own my master's in the Billboard's interview. It's giving jealous, 100. It's actually sad. Then she says, no, she doesn't think so at all. So frustrating. Do you think you guys will be able to come to a compromise? Spice says, hopefully, but we're about to put out another record in June for the Barbie soundtrack. So that was the entire conversation right there um, that she posted. And honestly, I don't think Ice Spice said anything wrong. Ice Spice to me sounds like a good negotiator. She had her lawyers on the line. And like she said, why would she work backwards? You know what I'm saying? And the Barbie soundtrack people ask Ice Spice. Everybody knows that. But to be honest with you, I heard this tea behind the scenes months ago that there was some conflict going on with her and Nikki um, about splits and you know Nikki wanting more. So this is not new tea to me, but um, I think it's messy that Baby Storm put this out there. She thinks this is gonna make her look good, but when I tell you they have been roasting her all weekend, I just don't like people who claim to be friends. And then as soon as there's a falling out, you wanna run with receipts and take it to the internet and everything else. So that means you've been collecting stuff. That means you've been feeling away. And she's thinking her doing this is about to like help her and people are literally clowning her. You know what I'm saying? The top comment on here says, you know what though? I feel like this is a really shitty thing to do as an ex-friend. She clearly trusted you and you're out in her business. Bad vibes. This is not the serve that you think it is. You look pathetic. Somebody else says the way she trusted you with her opinion she felt you were her safe space and you're leaking her messages. You're a horrible serpent, deceitful person. Please seek help. Serpent, thou art lose. So, I mean, social media was really lighting her up. I think it's tacky, point blank period. Um, again, anytime you're disclosing private information, it's not a good look. You're not the one coming out like a hero, especially when this was unprovoked. Okay, y'all fell off. Spice is doing her, then you need to focus on your music and do you. And to me, this whole situation is giving delusional, angry, bitter. Um, she's been going at Spice now for the past two weeks. Ice Spice hasn't addressed any of this. And if I were her, I wouldn't even address it. I wouldn't even care at this point. Um, but she's thinking it's about to make people go and listen to her music because shortly after she posted all that, if you go onto her social media page, she then posted her latest song. And so a lot of people were saying, okay, so you really did this for attention to try and promote your song. And she wrote, a dark-skinned Nigerian woman who's not afraid of anyone in this industry, rest in pieces, out now, 
filmed by yours truly at Target. And the second this doesn't pop and nobody cares about it, she'll be hollering colorism, racism, and every other ism. And honestly, she just, for a lot of people, this video is boring. She really doesn't have a personality. She's stiff. She really can't dance. Um, so it's not giving what she thinks it's giving. And she's thinking by exposing her former friend, Ice Spice, it's going to do something for her career. But I don't see it happening. I don't see it. Um, you know, the kitties, they love them some Ice Spice. And it is what it is at this point. She's still continuing to try to expose Ice Spice, and I think it's sad. Even now, as of four hours ago, she's asking her fans to contact the real Candace Owens. She says she wants to speak to her. So why would she want to talk to Candace Owens except for the fact to throw Ice Spice under the bus and say things like, oh, she's overtly sexual, she's making black women look bad, and this and that. So I think it's really sad that um, she's going this route. Unless she's talking about Ice Spice, she really doesn't get any engagement. Anything outside of Ice Spice, she might get 10 comments, you know, 20 retweets, 6 retweets. Nobody's checking for her, and that's the part that's not good. You know what I'm saying? She should have made it about the music and not about trying to expose her ex-best friend. I think that's going to overshadow her music. So with that being said, that is my full breakdown on this drama concerning Baby Storm and Ice Spice. How do you guys feel about this situation? Do you feel like she has the right to blast her? Do you feel like this is messy? And how do you feel about what Ice Spice was saying in that um, message to her concerning Nicki Minaj? People are saying that Ice Spice is delusional, but I think Ice Spice, I don't think she said anything bad in that DM. She has every right to protect her intellectual property and the things that she's worked hard for. And if she doesn't want to give Nicki more of the split, she shouldn't have to, point blank period. So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Feel free to like the video. Feel free to share the video. Most importantly, make sure you're still subscribed to the channel. And I'll talk to y'all later. Deuces. If you want the latest news in the streets, join us sentiment for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe.